The following is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. You sure do got a lot of these video games. Is this what your show is about? Yeah, I guess. Sometimes. It's a show and tell show. Other times it's toys or pocket tools. I might get into Dungeons and Dragons. Hey, you remember when we was little kids and we used to walk all the way up to the Try To Save grocery store and play that video game they had called Insert Coin? That's not really what it was called. Hey, cool, a cat. Is this your cat? What's her name? That's Bart. He's a boy. Oh boy, I sure do like cats. We have two. Where's the other one? Hi, Bart. Uh, he's so cute. He's friendly, huh? Yeah, Bart's great. Coochie coochie coo, Bart. He doesn't like that. Bart, coochie coochie coo. Coochie coo. Ow! He scratched me. Yeah. So Chester Charlie is heading back to his cabin now. But he'll drop by now and then to drop off videos for us. He made two episodes of Survivor Time with Chester Charlie so far, if you haven't seen them here yet already. And he also brought us these unfinished clips of some of his plans for his Season 2 for the near future. Hey, you got a Band-Aid? Hey, Sergeant, I got a question for you. Not now, Private. Can't you see I'm trying to direct traffic or something? Hello, and welcome to Survivor Time with Chester Charlie. First thing I wanted to show you today was this little guitar I made. I don't know if you can see this real good or not. Let's take a look. Now what you got here is a Lowe's paint stick. It's a big one. They had a sign next to them that said free take one, so I took one. And this is a it's a, a dessert tin from the Dollar Tree. It was a dollar. And I, it, I, I cut up the lid thinking I was going to make something else and it didn't work out. So this is good for that. It's just bolted on there. You can see it's got a brass picture hanger for the string. The string goes through a hole in the back. The picture hanger holds it on. And it's got two flathead screws there and there. And that holds the string in place. And then this is from a busted ukulele. Same with a string on it. But I had to put some washers in there to make up the difference in the gap there. But it came out kind of nice looking and I had to trim that box there to get the neck on there right, but that's alright. Came out real good and sounds pretty good, it's a lot of fun and it's real cheap. Anyhow, uh, I don't know if you can see that right there, but it says, right there it says, 100% wood. I thought this would be good for part of the introduction in the future for the future shows because it's got a helicopter on it and the mother fellas they always like to show a helicopter so I thought I should show a helicopter too. And then they like to say tactical a lot, so I thought that'd be good in the introduction there. Also, when I show the helicopter for the second season movie that we're going to make, the introductory movie, I took a fan and I moved it towards the camcorder phone camera and then away from it. So it'd make a sound like a helicopter swooping by. So I'll show you that next and you can see if you think it's good or not.
Also, for during the introduction movie that we're going to make for the show, I thought I'd show a sign about shelter building. Because them other fellas, they always talk about shelter building and show that in their introduction, so I thought I would do that too. I put some of my pouches there in the front there to kind of show it off and make it look more tactical, but then I thought maybe that was too many of them and it was kind of cluttered up. This next item gets my personal green flag of approval. I couldn't believe I found it at the Dollar Tree for only a dollar. What it is, it's a real tree camouflage uh, Blackberry phone case. Blackberry is kind of like a cell phone. I guess they're trying to be like Apple, but they had to pick a different fruit to be. First of all, since I was talking about all these little container doodads that I got, I'd show you this one. Prepare to be amazed. This knife, you got one of the hollow handles, this aluminum handle, stainless steel blade. It's got a little compass in there. What I got, I happened to find this little guy that fits in there just perfect. And then this is a little lockback Gerber 500. And it says Portland or USA. So I guess it was either made in the USA or in Portland. So that's pretty good.